hello guys welcome to our channel in this session we are going to see how to use when condition on failure and on success case so let's start so this is our yaml file we have created for the anchor keywords and extend keyword so let's remove these anchors keywords from here because we are not using and keep extend keyword as it is so i am removing this anchor keywords okay then after that we'll use the condition here so you know ki we are currently using a three different stages building testing and deployment so you know after the build test and deployment all three condition got pass or fail or if any one condition fail from here i want to receive a email notification with the failure or success scenario so how we can use that let's uh, create one st stage here send underscore email then after that let's go to the end and create one job here send underscore email notification followed by colon let's give the stage name here send hyphen email we have given the stage name send hyphen email then after that i will write one script here script and will give one statement here so what statement i will give this is email for success scenario this is email for the success scenario let's go and create one more stage here send underscore email notification followed by colon give the stage name so stage name i'll give the same stage name here send hyphen email then after that give the script hyphen echo this is email for failure scenario we are not defining any coding part here for now and we are not getting any email for now because just we are doing one testing part for how to use when condition here so let's see here we need to define a job name with the unique so let's you here send underscore email notification underscore success and here will give on failure then after that we want to use here a condition so how can we use that let's come here and give the condition when on underscore success and let's comes under the failure scenario and give the condition here when followed by colon on underscore failure so this is the way we can give that the condition here on success and on failure scenario as well we can use that this condition in the above stages as well building testing and deploying suppose if we give the under this test job condition when followed by colon with the success on success so the build job whenever the build job got success in that case test job will be executed if build job will be fail then test job will not be execute it will come directly under the deploy job so like that we can use that the condition here as well so for now we are just using here when colon on underscore success and when colon on underscore failure for the testing purpose and understanding purpose so let's scroll down click on commit and let's see the what 
output will get so here it's something syntax invalid gitlab ci configuration invalid sync okay let's click on edit and let's check what is the issue send underscore email send underscore email notification underscore success send hyphen email so we forget to give here the e so let's scroll down again click on commit and let's see there is no syntax error so now our pipeline has been started let's click on the pipeline open link and let's see click on the pipeline now you will get the all the pipeline execution stages here so this is a build stage test stage deploy stage and send email stage under the send email stage you are getting the two jobs send email notification failure send email notification success case so here when the once the build job success it comes under the test job test got success it comes under the deploy job when the deploy job will be success it will comes under this send email send email notification underscore success and if uh, suppose if the test or deploy any of the job got fail it will comes under the failure scenario so let's see let's comes under the build job this already done echo we are learning gitlab session for extend keyword presenting by devops set plus tutorial and job building has been started let's go back and let's see the test job is executing it's also completed testing has been started then after that it, it is going under the deployment stage let's go back and let's check under the deploy now deployment job has been started let's wait for the completion of the job after completing the job the it will move under the send email stage and as per the report of this job or stage like success or pass it will check the condition there and it will go under the job of the email so now job got succeed let's go and let's refresh the page let's see which job is executing now see here the same email notification failure got skipped because all three job executed successfully and now send email notification success is executing let's click on it and let's see the output of this so you will get the output we have written under this job send underscore email notification success let's see what we have given here this is email for success scenario so let's see this is email for success scenario so this is the way we can use that on con con when condition for success scenario let's go back to the yaml file and let's see for the failure scenario so here in one of the stage we'll do some mistake here suppose uh, we'll give the scripts here let's see it will take or not it will not take so we'll do some other change suppose where is that script uh, I want to fail this condition here so I will give equals here okay under the script okay now gitlab ci configuration is valid let's see go to the pipeline and let's see the status of pipeline so now pipeline has been started build job test job and deploy job so we made a mistake under the deploy job so let's wait for the completion of this all three stages it 
it will take around two minutes for the execution let's see let's check the build job now everything is fine here we are learning GitLab session for extend keyword presenting by devops z plus tutorial and job building has been started let's go back check under the test job it's also be done let's go back and check under the deploy job here we have given the wrong command here so this job will be failed and will receive an email notification with failure scenario now it's uh, done click on the refresh still it is executing okay it's showing error job will exit code one because echoes command not found here let's go back and refresh the page here and let's see the pipeline so we are receiving send email notification on failure scenario here in the deploy test and build stage in all the stages one of the job got failed we received an email for the email notification for failure scenario if all three got succeed all three jobs will be succeed will receive an email notification for success scenario let's click on it and let's see so this is email for failure scenario i hope guys you understood the flow of condition on failure and on scenarios case so thank you for watching guys we'll see you on the next video